blessings to you all I wanted to do this quick video while it was placed on my heart um, I'm out and about and I'm going for a walk but I wanted to talk to you about healing with your ancestors and how when you send love back to your ancestors and this could be um, anyone who has crossed over and also um, in life right now connecting with any of your parents um, what I did, I want to share this experience with you and how, while I was sending energy and love to my grandmother, I received that back. So let me just share. I was in meditation um, and, you know, I just was guided to really imagine my grandmother as a little child. So I work very, I work with my grandmother. She comes to me very often. So I imagined this picture that's at my mom's house of my grandmother as a little girl. And I connected with her. I saw her face. I connected with her eyes. I connected with our, our souls connected to each other and I just began to send her love. I just began to send her love. I just began to send her love. And as I sent her this love, I was big I saw that as I sent love to my grandmother, it went through every, it went through my family members. I started seeing my family members' faces, my moms, my aunts, my cousins, my uncles, and then it went all the way up to and it, it went all the way back to me. As it came back to me, I saw this this it looked like a crystallized um, strand of DNA, and it just was wrapping around, wrapping around, and then it hit me and I and I you know quickened in my soul because I then felt that love that I received um that I actually sent to my grandmother I thought that's a miracle so literally by me stopping and me pausing and being led by spirit I sent love to my loved one who has crossed over I sent that to her and her child self it went through everybody who shared her DNA all the way back to myself so I, I thought this this was so powerful. I just wanted to share it with you. And then after that, I went ahead. I set out a glass of water. I asked my ancestors to come and, and give me visions. My grandmother then, um, she came to me. And, I, you know, I woke up with a message out of my spirit. I began, because I always journal, writing down these things. And just, I feel freer today. I feel lighter today. She's just helping me in my healing process and healing my womb. And just spiritual detoxing myself and getting myself aligned. Um, you know, and I'm just so blessed to share this experience with you. So I want to share. Share, um, share with you so that you can go forward and you can do this for yourself and share it with others because each one teach one. So what you can do is easy. You can either get pictures of your loved ones who crossed over or if you could get a picture of your mom and your father so that you can just send your mother um, love, your father love to their child self. If you have pictures of your mom and your pa um, as little kids, you can send them love back to them as their child self. Because please believe that love is going to come right back around to you. Because we are our ancestors. That is our DNA. We walk and we embody them. You know, so I also want to share something else that my husband said to me that was brilliant the other day. He said for me to imagine myself standing in front of a V shaped and each side of this V is my family members on my mom's side and my ancestors on my mom's side. And the other side is of family members and ancestors of my dad's side. And he told me actually to imagine that I'm standing in front of that V at that point of that V and I'm, I'm outside. I'm on, a, on my lunch break and I'm walking. So way to this truck pass so he told me to imagine myself so um you know each side of the v is actual people he said imagine faces imagine bodies imagine your ancestors in that physical because i always go to spiritual and i'm like yeah i see you know i see white light i see you know but he said imagine you see them you see their faces you see bodies of your lineage of your line and when i began to see that i imagine that um video of um Michael Jackson's video and they're you know like they have all the people in a row going in the world and they're in a line I can't really think of it is but I just started to imagine that line full of people holding hands that represents each side of my DNA each side of my lineage and then he told me take them and have them kind of um, enfold in yourself kind of compress into your own being right so I saw the lines of my mama's side and my daddy's side and then I stood there at that point and then I just kind of like enveloped them in my Myself. I said, oh my God, babe, my husband gave that to me. And I was just like, what a gift how spirit just walked through him um, to bless me in that way. That I am my DNA, I am my ancestors. I literally, their DNA is part of me, every single one of them. And when I woke up this morning, 
um, I just received that in my spirit. Again, let me know. I am my ancestors, except those who those who received hurt, except those ones who gave hurt, because accept and love, you know, and the value of that. And then my um, my grandmother was and my grandfather was showing me some things that I was just, you know, I'm experiencing that, um, you know, that I'm working towards overcoming and really giving me that message to really help heal me. You know, so I just want to encourage you, if you are not already working with your ancestors, they are you, and it is great power in working with your ancestors, and I have incorporated working with my ancestors in with healing my womb. No, that does not mean you have to get an altar and you have to do all these things, but if you do set up an altar or a shrine in honor of your ancestors, and please believe people do all the time, you go in somebody's house and you see a wall full of uh, pictures, half of them people is dead. That's in honor of our ancestors. Or you see somebody's mantle, they have an obituary. That's an altar. <laughs> you may not call it altar. You just got that set up there, it reminds you of your grandma or your aunt who passed away. You connecting and it's reminding you of your ancestor and that power and that connection that you have. You know, so rather I whether I have an ancestor altar or I don't, if I if I don't work on it for that week, it does not matter because my ancestors are still here for me because there is no other greater love than that blood tie, the blood spirits that walk with you. Glory to God. Your ancestors is powerful and it's part of all traditions. It's just not African tradition. Ancestor reverence and working with the ancestors are part of a lot of traditions around the world. So I am working on that to help heal myself. But I just want to share those, you know, my experience experience with that especially what my husband had me visualize I mean it blew me away because he said you know just bring it to the earth see those bodies see those people who walk with you so I just hope that this blesses you love and light to each of you um, I just want to you know just share it out with you so and again you know that I offer spiritual readings to connect with your ancestors, connect with your spirit guides, you can always um, find me at internetdo.com. I am moving forward in my own healing, and I, and I hope the best for you all. Thank you so much. Blessings.